Hello and welcome everyone and welcome back to the channel. Ever wondered what an insane hardware can do with the latest AI models? Now picture this. I've got a beastly PC with top of the line specs and I'm about to make it sweat. So today, a brand new AI model family called Quen3 just dropped and I could not resist throwing it onto this rig. And we are pitting it against another monster of a model to see which one blazes ahead. But before we go into it, let's just check out the firepower I'm working with. So I have a GPU NVIDIA RTX 3090 over here. Let me show you guys. This is the two NVIDIA 3090s. I'm only working with one. The CPU is an Intel QYFS engineering sample. So it has 56 cores, 112 threads of raw processing power. So it's basically a next gen Xeon on steroids right now for a fraction of the price of 8480 plus. And then we have, you know, 512 gigs of RAM. Don't ask me why it says 540 over there. It is DDR5 ECC. And yes, that's half a terabyte of RAM, right? Is it an overkill? Maybe not because we have two big models loaded onto that RAM right now. With a rig this stacked, I am ready to tackle some truly gigantic AI models. And guess what? Quen3 models launched today, so it's the perfect chance to push my system to the limit. Okay, so let's dive right in and I'm going to show you what happens when I test Quen3 235 billion parameter model on this particular rig right it's a whooping 235 billion parameters right so we need to see how it runs locally on on this machine i mean there is there is no way around it so i got this model downloaded using olama and to make it interesting i'm going to compare it against DeepSeek r1 which is another heavyweight ai model that i've been experimenting with recently so both these models are huge. We are talking, you know, in the class of GPT-4, not in the parameter size, but at least, you know, the output, um, the, the kind of output that they produce are just insane. And these are some big models that will not fit on my machine. So I do have to get a 4-bit quantized format for Quen3 235 billion. And we are getting it using Olama. And DeepSeek R1, actually, I'm running a Q2K R4 Unslots Quant over here. And this one is a specialized quantization flavor from Unslot. And I'm going to use a specialized framework called IK underscore Llama dot CPP, which can also leverage the GPU over here. Of course, I cannot fit the whole Quent3 model onto my GPU, so it will be running on CPU but these two setups will chew on the same prompt and we'll see which one spits out the text faster again quen3 is a mixture of experts model just like uh, deepseek r1 is there are different number of parameters that are activated right so in deepseek r1 we have um 37 billion parameters that are activated and i think in quen3 we have only 30 billion parameters that are activated at a time for a token so um, I already ran this this prompt right before this particular setup and you can see it took 27 minutes to think through right and even though it took 27 minutes and the the, the question was can you build a feature rich snake game in a single self-contained HTML file right so it, it went through and I through in this word feature rich just so that I can see what does each one of these two models and I, I asked the same question to DeepSeek R1 as well what each one of these models actually produces for us so it's the the model thought for 27 minutes I got just around four tokens per second and of course this is not a fair comparison and I totally get that that these models are not optimized yet on the hardware right so this is not it is day one these frameworks will get better they will be optimized and i'm pretty sure once this gets optimized it will 
produce better outputs and it will also run faster than what it is right now but as it stands today on olama it is giving me about four tokens per second which isn't very fun to watch right so uh, i mean if you're curious quantization is a technique to shrink the model size without major performance loss and q4 is just that sweet spot over here Olama is that user-friendly local LLM framework that lets you run these AI models easily. And you can see some other of my AI server setups where I talk in detail about that. IK Llama is a super fast LLM runtime, which is a fork of Llama.cpp that smartly offloads part of the model to GPU for speed. And this is what DeepSeek R1 is running on so um this produced decent amount of code over here right however if you see the prompt um response tokens per second was uh, 3.92 right and that is that isn't very good the the prompt token per second was 19.66 which was also not very good but that's all right you know day one these things will get better especially when i'll uh, use more optimized frameworks like ik llama which is really optimized for our setup my biggest problem wasn't this it was the quality of code that this produced uh, i mean this wasn't really the kind of game that i thought you know feature rich could have been a little better i mean it is functional right so i will give it a pass i mean it is kind of producing a decent result i guess i mean the snake game is going on and it is it is not buggy it is it is working oh i died okay all right so you'll see that i suck at playing this game that's on one side of it and on the second side it actually did give me score high score and all that so let's see if i do a restart it, it preserves the high score over there and that is nice so the high score is preserved and all that so there are some features that it built in and the game works i don't know why it's having like a second uh thing displayed over here but that's all right maybe it is something going on with open web ui i do not know but at the same time i asked the same question to uh, to deep seek r1 and both the models are actually loaded on my uh you know on my rig right now and i can i can actually show you so uh, this is my remote view of the rig and you will see that both these models are currently running so the IK Llama is running over here and I want to show you the prompts tokens per second that I got with IK Llama. I don't know if it is going to scroll up for me. I have used PyKVM over here. So there we go. And the prompts, uh, not the prompt token, but output token generations was 10 tokens per second. I don't know why I cannot spot it over here. It is somewhere hidden over here, right? There it is 10.99 tokens per second, right? So which is which is pretty awesome. Um, it it had 10 11 tokens per second, right? So this is this was really, really awesome. I, I, I absolutely love it. And I have also actually um, used Q4 quantized with K, K transformers and I consistently get nine and a half to 10 uh, or 10.1 tokens per second with that too. But then that really eats up all the RAM and I wanted to load both the models at the same time. I wasn't processing both the models at the same time, but I had both the models loaded at the same time over here. Okay, so let me switch back to my um, DeepSeek R1's response. So this was, of course, 11 tokens per second. I liked, you know, how it thought through. Uh, I mean, it it thought just enough um, reasonable thoughts over here, produced a decent looking game. So I actually opened up this game over here in a, in a different window over here for us to see. And you can see like it is, it is pretty cool, decent looking game over here. So let me see. Uh, let me actually just refresh this over here and wow yeah i mean it looks pretty i don't know how functional it is so i don't know what those dots mean if i probably would read its reasoning i'll get to know but this is like deep seek r1 knows how to create html files at least the self-contained html files 
I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna play it for a couple more seconds till I die. And let me see if I can make it fast. Oh, oh okay, all right. The fast really works. It became too fast. All right. So this, um, this was a very, very, very simple uh, prompt over here. You know, like I, I fed just this simple prompt to both the models simultaneously just to see how they would perform. And Deep Seek R1 just performs amazingly you know so what i'll do is quick i will uh just so that you can see the quinn's response time i'm gonna send this prompt back to quinn and i think quinn model will load back up again so let me let me show you over here uh quinn model okay so prompt processing went in and i'm gonna quick show you how the system looks like so you can see wow you can see all those uh threads kind of just going crazy over here they're not reaching 100 percent which is which is quite interesting like there are all these 112 threads they are not reaching full 100 percent that is very interesting however um yeah you, you can you can see how painfully slow this is uh, and let me actually switch it back over here you can see how painfully slow it is um and that is um uh, that's all right i mean it is not optimized yet and it is just running on cpu so of course it is even though it is mixture of experts it is not performing to its best tuned performance um i'm pretty sure very soon ik llama or k transformers i know are going to release their v3 and actually i was on reddit and i was talking to the k transformers guy uh, and he said that he's going to release when Quen 3 will be out. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, maybe K Transformers will release it. And then I'll be able to do a better comparison over here. So I'm going to stop this because this, if it takes 27 minutes again, I don't want to sit over here to watch that. However, I do want to show you guys, I'm going to stop this. Uh, and I do want to show you guys how the same thing looks like on DeepSeek R1. So I'm going to send this prompt back again and you can visualize this by yourself that the same thing and i'm gonna also show you uh so you see how fast 11 tokens per second looks right this is i think 10 tokens per second is my preference i absolutely like that 10 to 11 tokens per second this is just enough reading speed for me well i cannot read that fast so it is it is just spitting the tokens out just faster than what i can read but i just i just absolutely love how optimized hardware how gpu and cpus hybrid uh, off-roading strategy where the experts are completely running on the cpu let me show you while i'm talking about this i can show you how the the cpu and gpu together look so you can see how the 57 cpus that i have assigned to it are working quite nicely over here so they're all at 100 percent if you would see the ones that are assigned are all at 100 percent those 57 cpus and i also want to quick show you how the gpus look like so gpu view is in my warp terminal so you can see this is the first gpu that is being used 20 gigs of uh, VRAM is being used over here. So the attention layer gets offloaded um, over here and the experts are running on the CPU. And this is pretty cool. You can see the attention layer isn't fully optimal. I mean, it isn't fully um, pushing the GPU to its limit, but it is good enough 30%. But you can see even with this amount of offloaded attention layer, we get a ton of better performance out of it so we are getting about 11 tokens per second just by doing that and you can see that it already started um creating our html file which is pretty awesome okay all right so um this is actually all that i had today to to share to you guys um just a quick performance um showdown between deep seek r1 
and and there are also different quantized models right i mean DeepSeek r1 is q2 k4 but it is 234 uh, gigabytes in size whereas i was trying to get as you know good of a size comparison to uh, so that we can see but there is there is no literally no way to have apples to apples comparisons over here so this is going to be an apples to maybe bananas maybe stale bananas comparison because it's day one for quin 3 but anyway um uh, thank you guys for watching this video at a very high level four tokens per second on olama 11 tokens per second on deepseek r1 um uh, on olama we see quen 3 running at q4 quantized on deepseek r1 running on ik llama we see q2 kr4 quantization and then um of course olama is only running on cpu and deepseek r1 is running on ik llama with cpu and gpu combined over here okay thank you guys for watching this video staying with me and i will see you guys in the next video